Michelle Kruger's childhood imagination was lit by her grandmother's vast knowledge of the world, her appetite for drawing and storytelling. She inherited that appetite and today expresses it in a uniquely creative way. Hello Insider SA, my name is Michelle Kruger, I'm a Lego artist and welcome to my space. I grew up in a small town in the Free State, it's called Grunstadt. I'm the youngest of five kids. There was this box of Lego that came to my sister and then eventually when I got the small box, it was all chewed up, but I loved playing with it. I would always build little figurines. And I think that the fact that I didn't have a lot as a kid growing up, that kind of inspired the indulgence where I'm at now with enjoying a lot of Lego. <laughs> When Michelle's partner, Lelani Dupreer, gifted her this Mustang to rebuild, it set off creative fireworks. I can actually show it to you. It's this one, yeah? And from there, the obsession started. What if I tried to build a portrait? Because I'm a painter and I love painting portraits, just doing it as a joke. So I got a picture of David Bowie and I just started building a small little David Bowie portrait and jokingly sent her a picture and my partner Lelani, she said, this is amazing, you should monetize this. <laughs> so after the David Bowie, I made a bigger version of a Vincent van Gogh and I posted on Instagram and it sold within two weeks and then it was on fire. Diagnosed with multiple sclerosis last year, instead of falling to pieces, Michelle remarkably built a hit art career, one block at a time. Inspiration for previous works I've done, I use existing artworks that are commercial. So I've done Vincent van Gogh, I've done Frida Kahlo's. So I'll do a remake of an existing artwork, but in Lego. The process of getting the design, the idea into an actual artwork is I will get pictures online and convert them into a usable image. I convert the image into like a mosaic or something pixelated, which translates and converts into the amount of pixels, into the amount of studs in my design. The next step would be to procure the bricks that I would need. If I don't already have them, I would need to source. So I would buy the classic brick sets. It looks like this, where I'll find some of the primary colors and maybe a few secondaries. When I start from the blueprint, I would start with a base plate. Normally, I would use just a rectangular or a square base plate. With this one, I've tried something different and I've done a cutout of the base plate. And this would then be framed. And I like building it up to create some texture. And especially with the photographs that we do for the prints, the texture creates nice shadows on the piece. So when it's hung on a wall, it actually looks like the real thing. From taking a pay cut during lockdown, the extraordinary Miss Kruger is now an artist of independent means. A local artist that I really look up to is one of my old lecturers. And we've actually done an exhibition together as well in Cape Town. His name is Johan Alberts. And he taught me a lot about color and composition of works and just drawing and painting in general. So I really look up to him as a very good artist and an exceptional lecturer. I'm also very inspired by traveling. I've been to Japan twice. A lot of my art is inspired by Japanese art and the way they use color. Even my signature on my artwork is a stamp in Japanese, which in English translates to simplistic, content and beautiful. These portraits in toy bricks or cardboard reflect the artist's view on where her art's real value lies. I think what draws people into my work is two things. Firstly, it would be the nostalgia. So either people had Legos as a kid and they still feel that pleasure from seeing Legos. Also, I think the magic of walking back from the piece, if you see it up close, you can't really see it, but walking back, there's a bit of a magic that happens the moment you see, ah, oh, that is what it is. It's a Vincent van Gogh or it's a Frida Kahlo. What makes my art unique is the fact that I'm one of a few people in South Africa and probably in the world who does Lego art, specifically like a 2D version of portraits. I think for me, I don't necessarily want to provide any sort of strict commentary on something. I'd rather create pieces that make people think what it means to them personally. It's more of a, a feeling, sometimes a feeling of nostalgia, just a feeling of life is not that complicated. It can be as simple as childhood toys. 
Each Michelle Kruger original shows that art can be simple, enjoyable and to the point. If it takes you to a deeper place, that's an added reward. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 6, repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.